Hello there my YouTube friends and fans, welcome to Minecraft. Uh, no, actually this is the Division 2 but it sure looks like Minecraft, doesn't it? Look at those cool cars here, aren't they awesome? Well, not for me, I was pretty frustrated in the last 10 days. I tried to play this game and every day the issues became worse and I found more and more stuff that was broken. I made a whole video about the issues. I did a lot of online research and there was just no solution to this problem. Just a lot of people complaining about the same issues of transparent walls and transparent enemies and bad graphics like this one. So then we have the invisible wall here actually which turns out to be a wall but you can't see it right away. It pops in later and again really 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 bad graphics sometimes they come in after a few seconds and sometimes they never come in and then here we have the weird sounds or no sounds and uh, look at that just freezing in the middle of a gunfight and then you die because they can shoot you before you get out of the freeze and then you freeze again and then here is what i couldn't show in the last video because i didn't have a recording of it but here you go None of the loadout pictures are showing, they're just simply missing. A very, very good example of transparent enemies where you actually see the icons of the enemy. Look at that. You see all the icons, but you don't see the actual person standing there. And I'm freezing right now. And when I unfreeze, I get shot at behind the wall. So clearly they can shoot me through a wall or there is an enemy in front of me that I don't see. So I'm trying to get into cover, which I'm hoping is cover. I believe it's cover and I'm so wrong. So I retrieve more into what I think is a really safe corner here. And I instantly die and I don't even know why. Ha, I just made a rhyme. That's funny, not. And just before I am about to quit out of this game again, out of frustrations, I experienced this thing. This is actually the castle. Look at this. There's something completely wrong with the graphics here. They're just like not all there and they kind of pop in and out and it, you just kind of feel like in a graphics nightmare here. So I go inside and I'm kind of sinking into the ground and everything is kind of blurry. I can't even see anything, it's so dark. Now the, I don't even know where I came from. I'm completely Friendly confused. Control detected. Okay, so I get some light here, but I'm still kind of in the floor. And I don't really know exactly where to go because I don't really see anything. Everything is blurry and washed out and popping in and out. It's like uh, a total nightmare when it comes to a video game glitch. Look, I can't even, I can actually even not get out of this area at all. I'm stuck, literally. I mean, to this point, I'm like, this game is so broken. I don't even know if they can fix it. So I finally managed to get out of the castle and out here in the backyard or whatever you call that and walk around, but I can't, I can't walk any faster like that. I'm literally like walking super slow, like I'm walking on goo. And then, if it couldn't get worse, listen to this. Yeah, I knew at this point I had to turn off the game immediately before my Xbox is blowing up in my face. So I'm back in the game, but I have to do a whole fresh install of the game. I also decided to remove the beta. I don't know why it was still there. I should have probably done that from the beginning. Because I remembered that I had issues before with another game. I think it was Battlefield where if the beta was still installed, you had a lot of issues and errors and glitches happening. So I was like, hmm, this could be really the problem. But I just thought it was safer to not just in uninstall the beta, but actually reinstall the whole game. So I'm super eager to test out this game and I know I have to give it at least an hour to know if actually the reinstall and the deinstall actually worked. Because even before, the game sometimes behaved normally for a few minutes and then it glitched out again. So, so far so good. 
So I'm trying to tell myself not to get too excited. So now we're approaching the castle here, which had major issues before I did the reinstall. And look at that, everything looks normal, like it's supposed to be. I mean, this is during the day, it was the night before, but it doesn't matter really. Everything behaves normal here. It is kind of dark in here, but that's normal. And before I got stuck right here, I couldn't get out and look, no problem whatsoever. Everything looks fine. And I can even move at a normal pace. At this point, it was like three o'clock in the morning and I really wanted to go to bed. I was super tired. Um, I just was like, I, I, I have to play this longer. I need to know. I just, I just was like, I need to know if this game works. If I give it a little bit more time and there are no issues, I know that removing the beta and reinstalling the game actually did solve the issues and I could help all those other people who have the same issues. And by the way, when I did some more Google research, I found so many posts about those issues. People were really, really frustrated. And a lot of those people were actually PC players, believe it or not. You always think PC players are not affected by the stuff. It's just like console player issues. No, it was a lot of PC players with very expensive rigs that had exactly or still have exactly the same issues. So now we know that most likely all those people who have issues need to make sure that they don't have the beta still installed and if that doesn't solve the problem just literally just reinstall the full game again it's totally worth it it takes some time i think the the install of the full game took me at least half an hour to an hour but it's totally worth it totally worth it i'm telling you i have played at least an hour after doing that and I haven't ran into a single problem. No graphic glitch, no sound issues, no invisible enemies, no insta deaths, none of this. Like the UI is all there, it works. I mean, I'm just like, why did this not come to my mind before? And why is Ubisoft not telling us to do this? Maybe, I don't know, does Ubisoft not know? that that's the solution to the problem or are they just not even knowing that people have issues even though a lot of people did actually post on the Ubisoft forum but Ubisoft never really responded with a good solution they just said well just restart your console and, it, and people were like well I, I did that didn't solve the problem I restarted my console like a million times and you know I always power cycle my console every single day because I always turn my console off every night before I go to bed. So that didn't solve the problem. And that's really the first thing everyone does. They just restart the computer, restart the console. And that usually does the trick, but not in this case, unfortunately. And that's what was so frustrating. And I don't think a lot of people actually think of actually reinstalling the whole game. Or if it's just a beta, a lot of people don't even remember that they still have the beta installed and that that could be an issue. I have now to remember to always uninstall a beta uh, before I install a full game or right after I install a full game because it just causes issues. So to me, it makes total sense that that could cause issues because it looks like, you know, the, the two games were kind of fighting with each other and it was like two versions of the game, two different versions. So that's why there was shifts going on and everything and the game just didn't really know exactly what to represent because it was kind of pulling some data from the beta and some data from the full game or maybe it was pulling a lot from the beta which was completely outdated i don't know what happened but it would to me it would be make complete sense why the game was bugging out the way it did so I love, love, love Ubisoft. If you know me and if you follow me for a while, I literally play every single Ubisoft game. There's maybe one that I don't play or two, but I'm a huge fan and I love Ubisoft games because usually Ubisoft games run really, really, really well compared to a lot of other games that I love and play. So I, that's why I was so frustrated and I just couldn't understand why this game was behaving so badly. While it's actually such a simple solution to fix. 
I really hope this video will help a ton of people who have the same issues and I know there are hundreds of people uh, which I saw on Google and I haven't seen a single solution for it. It could be that someone else mentioned this. I did not see it. So I'm really, really hoping this helps people because there's so many people that spend a lot of money. They got like the Ultra Deluxe Edition and spend like $80 or $120 on this game. And they're now not playing it anymore. And they're just super upset um, because they love the game, but they can't play. It. And you saw that it's absolutely impossible to play a game with the issues that I showed, it's just, it's, I mean, you try the hardest and now the game feels so easy. When you play, when you try to play this game with all the issues and you come back and you play it and it doesn't have the issues, all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, this game is so easy. Well, I wouldn't say easy, but compared to when you play with the issues, uh, and then without the issues, the game just runs so smooth and everything works the way you expect it. If you shoot someone, they die the way they should, the sounds are all there. I mean, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm rambling around, but I'm just so excited and so happy that this game, which I love so much, is finally not a chore anymore to play, but really a lot of fun. I still have a couple of strongholds I have to complete. I have tons of bounties I still want to finish. There's still tons of things to do. There's still that side mission that I couldn't complete because it was glitched out and maybe that's kind of fixed now too by the reinstall. I don't know, I still have to find out, but everything else is really working as expected. So I hope this is helping you if you have the same issues. And if you liked this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.